Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, I just wanted to say welcome. Thanks so much for subscribing. I'm so happy you guys are here. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe now so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll just hop right on into the update. So I am currently 11 weeks pregnant right now. So I'm gonna be going over weeks nine and 10. And um, the first thing I wanted to mention was um, how tired I've been. I've still been super tired like I mentioned last time. I've been taking naps almost every single day. Anytime the kids are napping, I'm napping. I have to take advantage of it because Throughout the day when I'm trying to stay up and do stuff with them, I'm literally like starting to fall asleep. So I have to get a nap in or I'll just literally be out of it for the whole day. So I've been doing that and after I have my nap, I feel better. But um, literally if I don't have it, I'm just like a zombie. I'm hoping that I'll start feeling better once I get to the second trimester, which is coming up pretty soon. Um, hopefully I'm gonna have some energy um, I'm praying I will because lately it's just been bad. I feel like I've been like half out of it like with the kids lately and I haven't been giving them my full attention because I've just been so exhausted. So I wanted to talk about some of the symptoms I've been having. I randomly have had um, numbness going through my fingers. This was about um, two weeks ago. So it was when I was nine weeks still. Um... I had numbness throughout my fingers and um, on my tongue and everything. It was pretty scary. I actually um, was about feeling like I was going to pass out. And my I couldn't feel my fingers in my mouth. And my vision started getting blurry. And I wasn't even talking straight. I tried to pick up a glass of water and I ended up dropping the water and shattering the glass. It was pretty scary. I didn't know what was going on with me. And um, I ended up going to get checked to make sure everything was okay at the hospital and they said everything was fine. So it must have just been something to do with the pregnancy and it's kind of unexplainable, but hopefully that doesn't happen again because that was pretty scary. But I'm glad that only happened the one time and it hasn't happened since. Um, other than that, I have been having um, some shooting pains down on my lower side it's been happening pretty frequently. It's like, it literally feels like someone's stabbing me and it's pretty painful where I'm just like, ah, for a second. And it like literally makes me stop and like I hold that area. Um, that actually happens like every couple of days or sometimes more than once a day. But um, thankfully it's something that um, doesn't keep on occurring like throughout the whole day. It's like just once or twice and then I'm, it's over and with my appetite I've been having like really up and down um, appetite like yesterday I could not get full at all throughout the whole day I had to keep eating and eating and eating and then I would still be hungry after and I'm still only in the first trimester which is surprising to me that I'm even feeling like that and then there will be other days where I literally have no appetite at all and I kind of just eat like two times in one day and that's about it. But um, that's kind of how my appetite's been. I really haven't had much cravings per se. I have been wanting soup lately and my mom actually made me soup on um, Sunday and I was really happy about that. She made um, homemade Hungarian chicken soup and it was so good. I was so thankful that she made that. I actually was craving some other soup, um, lemon chicken rice soup. I actually was really craving that on um, Monday and I got that. But um, other than that, I really haven't had any other cravings, just soup randomly. So those are like the only symptoms I'm really having. I'm supposed to be going to the doctors on Monday, December 3rd. So I'll update you guys in the next one about how that went and if there's anything new. So I've been trying to make like a list of names in my phone so that like we have ideas. But I really only have one girl name and that's about it. I don't have any boy names besides the ones from that video that I made. And we're not necessarily using those. So... We're gonna have to really um, start thinking, but we're not gonna really worry about it until we find out the gender. 
and that is gonna be probably around seven weeks from now just depending on when my doctor um, schedules my ultrasound I'm thinking it's gonna be around 18 weeks and so I think that's gonna be in January I think that'll be in January when we find out the gender and we'll definitely be letting you guys know what the gender is a little bit after we find out I'll probably be posting a gender reveal video and that's gonna be exciting that's all I can really think about lately is if there's boys in there or girls in there, what the babies, both of the babies' genders are. It's like, I just keep thinking about it all the time. I can't wait to find out and um, pick out names. And I want to um, get personalized um, things with their names on it, like swaddles that have their names on it or like a hat for each of one of them. I've been using multiple pregnancy apps. I go on each one and see. Um, what they say, but one of my favorite pregnancy apps right now is called Pregnancy Plus. It's really cool looking. I'll show you guys what it looks like. If you're pregnant, it is really cool. I suggest you download it because it's one of the best ones that I found and I really enjoy using it. This is the app right here, Pregnancy Plus. It's really cool because it shows you what your baby would look like inside right now. Gives you some estimated measurements and then it gives you some facts as well. It's really cool. So that's all for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future updates. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys. Okay guys, this is currently my bump. Show you guys from the front. On the side. Hasn't changed much, but this is currently what my belly's looking like.